one million dollars. This seems completely out of reach, especially if you are starting your life with loads of student debt, or if you're like me with kids and education bills. There are 24 million millionaires in the US, 3.3 million in Japan, and 796,000 in India. And there's a lot more to learn about millionaires according to Dave Ramsey's study on them. In his latest book, Baby Step Millionaires, he's giving away in a lot of details all the necessary steps to becoming millionaire and that he's been teaching for the past 30 years. This book literally blew my mind and I can't wait to share with you the main insights to help you and me get on the path to becoming millionaires. My name is Joram from Economia. Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about those millions. We'll go through the steps he's recommending and you'll see that we've discussed a lot of them on this channel before. As we are starting, we should make sure that we are talking about the same thing. What is a millionaire? It's absolutely not someone who is making $1 million a year in salary. Absolutely not. A millionaire is someone who has a million dollars of net worth. To have a million dollar of net worth and to calculate it, I should say, you take everything that you own minus everything that you owe your debt and the result should be $1 million or above. Like I was mentioning before, there are 24.4 million in the US, 3.3 million in Japan and 796,000 in India. And the reason I chose those countries is because most of you viewers are coming from these countries. Thank you for watching the channel. So as you can see, it's not something that's very common, but it's not something that's impossible. Dave Ramsey and his team have conducted a large scale study of millionaires in the US to understand where they're coming from and their habits. It's called the Ramsey National Study of Millionaires and it has some of the very interesting nuggets for us. First, the top five jobs they're holding. Not something you would think of. Let's start. You have engineers, accountants, teachers, management and attorney. Yes, attorney is only the number five and teacher is number three. There are not that many teachers making millions of dollars in revenue, but they can still become millionaires. And that's something you should hold a little bit as we are looking through the steps. Some other interesting tidbits, 18% are self-employed and 33%, a third, never made a six-figure income and 62% graduated from public university or state schools. So not Ivy League for everybody. It's not my image and maybe it's not your image of the millionaire. They can be very discreet. They can be like you and I, they just follow the steps we're gonna discuss right now. The first baby step is saving a thousand dollars in emergency fund. I know it's not much, but this is the first step to putting money aside and not getting yourself in trouble if your car breaks down or if you have an unexpected small medical emergency. And that's really the very beginning. Some of you are already past that, but if you're starting, this is a good first point. The second step is to pay off all your debt except your house mortgage. We talked about that on the channel a lot. A lot of the debts are not good debt. They are not providing you shelter like a mortgage or providing you money like a rental property would do. So those debt are credit card debt, student debt most of the time, card debt, not card, car, your automotive debt, and maybe you have some consumer debt. Those debt should be paid in full if you want to progress towards becoming a millionaire and first having a stable financial situation. According to Dave Ramsey, this took on average two and a half to four years to everybody to pay off and be concentrated on doing only that. And he has a lot of very nice anecdotes about people who are single father, single mother, in the middle of a divorce, a lot of debt, but manage to do it anyway. Step three is saving three to six months of a fully funded emergency fund. We talked a lot about the emergency fund on this channel, so we're not gonna go back into detail, but that permits you to be able to cover any unattended big bill or maybe if you lose your job and you need time to find your job, a new job back, 
If you have three to six months of expenses saved, then you don't have to go into debt. You have time to turn around and recover a situation. Some recommend six to nine months to 12 months of emergency fund, but here is three to six months for a starter. So that's step number three. Step number four is also something we've talked about a lot before, is saving 15% of your pre-tax revenue into retirement investments. Yes, 15% of the money you're getting at the beginning of each month or at the end of each month, whenever you're paid, goes into retirement investment before anything else. It sounds a lot like paying yourself first that we've discussed a lot. You remember this video, right? And what we mean by pay yourself first is this. With every single dollar that comes into your household, every single dollar, you take a percentage off the top. And how do you invest that money? This is the simple but efficient, boring way. You go into index funds and index ETFs from very reputable companies with low, very low expense ratio. When I say low expense ratio is 0.0 something, nothing above that. You're gonna tell me, why should I put my money on the stock market for my retirement? It's dangerous, sometimes it goes down. And that's true, sometimes it goes down. But if you look on an average for any index, and let's take the S&P 500 in the US for example, since 1957, he has had an annualized rate of return way above 10%, as you can see on screen. If we look at 10 years or 20 years, it's also positive. So if you invest on, in indexes, it's easier, you don't have to choose stocks, and it rewards you very well. And actually, Warren Buffett says the same as well. If you want to know more on how to invest and how to divide your investment between different types of funds, I actually made a video recently and I'm linking it down below so you can have a look and learn more. And before we go to the next point, remember, we are not trying to time the market. No, we invest whether it rains or shine. We are dollar cost averaging and we invest every month all the time over a long period of time. Told you, it's boring, but it works. And finally, where do you invest? What kind of account do you use? Well, first, you should use any matching with your employer that you can get. That in the US would be your 401k. If you're putting a thousand dollar and your employer is matching one dollar per dollar, that's a hundred percent increase on your investment. So whether you're in the US or in other country, if you have a matching pattern or matching scheme with your investment for retirement, you should max it out as much as possible. And if you have more money after you've maxed out your 401k or equivalent, you should go in other tax advantageous accounts like the IRA, Roth IRA, HSA for the US, ISA for the UK, NISA for Japan or IDECO for Japan as well. You have to try all the little tax advantages niches to invest for retirement. Step five is also about saving and investing, but this time you're saving for your children education fund. Yes, to help them learn whether at university or vocational school, it's not an obligation to pay 100% of your kid's education. It's nice to participate and you don't have, like I said, have to pay for everything. You, you can go to a cheaper college. We mentioned public college, state or communal schools, could be vocational schools, and the kids who are already grown up can also work to pay part of it. Let's go to step number six, and this one is paying off your mortgage early. Yes, paying your house you're living in early. This is the last debt you have, probably the last debt you ever have. And if you pay it early, then you increase your wealth. You increase what you own and you decrease what you owe in terms of debt. And that helps you as a last step to continue building this wealth toward a million dollars. Not everybody agrees with Dave Ramsey on paying off mortgage early and being completely off debt for properties or rental properties. That's a debate, but that's what Dave Ramsey and his teams are actually advocating. And now the last step, the last baby step is build and give. Yes, you continue building your wealth and you give generously. What Dave Ramsey says is 
giving 10% of your pre-tax revenue away because you've put money on the side, you've paid all your debt, you've funded your education fund for your kids and you have your emergency fund. So the extra money can go to charity, you can be generous in giving. He recommends 10%, everybody is different, but it's true. If you have money, you can spread and be generous with money, you can be generous with your time, you can help others as well. And here you go, you have the seven baby steps to become a millionaire that Dave Ramsey recommends in his latest book. And it's not only what he's recommending, all those steps that really touched me, it's all the anecdotes about all the people that were in trouble and that actually got out of trouble by following those steps over the years to continue and get out. And they had one thing in common, they thought they could do it. They all thought they had their destiny into their own hands. They never gave up, they stumbled sometimes and they stood up and continue going forward. This is so inspiring, all those anecdotes, and that's why you should read the book, are so inspiring. They give you a lot of courage, they give you a lot of inspiration and the will to go and follow those steps because they are working. This short video doesn't even start scratching the surface of how good this book is and how entertaining and how inspiring it is. I hope it at least gave you the envy to reading it. I leave a link down below for you to finding it easily. According to my YouTube statistics, many of you are of age of having children or considering to have children. So you might be wondering about children education fund. So I recommend for you to look into this video that goes into a lot of details. If you like this video or learn something, please give it a like and do not hesitate to subscribe for more videos to come. And if you have any idea or any comments, please leave it down below. Thank you again for watching and until next time, goodbye.